<laughs> Michael, thanks for taking the time. I uh, just was curious how you felt about your first outing of summer camp. Yeah, uh, it felt great. Um, it's a weird routine, obviously, um, even just showing up later than everybody else and not having a full locker room. Um, but you got to do it. And uh, I, I felt great out there. It was nice to be back out there competing um, and then facing such a good lineup. It, it, was, it was fun to kind of test yourself a little bit. You said showing up later than everyone else. When did you show up? Uh, I got here right at five. Um, and we have like the earlier workout, so it's staggered. So guys were here at two and they were all out of here by four if they weren't in the game. So um, coming into like an empty locker room was kind of weird. Was there anything in particular that you were working on while you were out there? Or was it just a matter of getting reps in? Um, majority of it was just getting reps. Uh, but I actually was working on a, an arm side four seam that uh, Ionetta actually uh, sprung on me. I told him like towards the end of my bullpen that I was, I'm fine doing it, but we can do it later on once we get more comfortable. And first batter to Hicks, I go up. I think it was one, two on him and he calls four seam away to him. And, and I, I executed it, which was great. Um, and then because I executed it, he called it a bunch after that. So uh, I was happy about it. Um, and obviously, just any time you get some work and it's good. Thank you. James Wagner, if you can unmute there, you have the next question. Hey, Mike. I uh, hope you're doing well. Just out of curiosity, yeah, like, because we don't see the setup. Are you in the visitor's clubhouse? Uh, yep. How spread out is it? How does it look to you? Like, how is it? How is everyone else positioned to get to it? Yeah, we're, we're all, it's every other locker. Um, Every time we're in the clubhouse, we got to have a mask on. Um, it, it's, it almost kind of prevents us from talking, kind of. You feel uncomfortable talking. Um, so it, it's a little silent in there un, until we get a few guys in there. But because it's so, like, scarce, um, there aren't it, – it isn't a full locker room that you can really be, be talking and kind of hanging out uh, like clubhouse. So um, it's definitely different, but we're all, we're all figuring it out. Take the next question from Ken Davidoff. Ken, go ahead and unmute. Hey Mike, um, just wondering if you have any sense of, of what your role could be, obviously with the expanded rosters, and do you feel like uh, a starting uh, a spot in the starting rotation is a possibility? Yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, I'm kind of taking it day by day, uh, doing whatever they say to do. I know I went two innings today. I, I love starting. Um, I know I can probably do both, um, but I would love to stay on that path um, and, and build up because I feel like you can always – jump back to a relief role because you can always go back in innings. Um, so I wouldn't mind building up. And if they need me as a reliever, that, that's, that's my role. But um, for now, I'm just kind of taking it day by day. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Eric Boland. Eric. Eric, you need to unmute. There we go. I think we got it this time. Hey Mike, thanks for uh, thanks for coming in tonight. Curious as a um, as a fellow pitcher, what did you notice, admire most about Garrett Cole when you saw him during the three weeks in spring training, and and obviously you know watching him out here tonight. I know you had your job to do, but I'm sure you snuck a peek at what he was doing occasionally. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, it, it, honestly, his intensity. Uh, he does not take a pitch off, and I, I talked to him about that um, kind of in like his pre or his uh, in-between start routine, where when he throws bullpens in between, it's max effort. He doesn't want to overdo it. He doesn't want to throw 50, 60 pitch bullpens, which I actually like doing because I, I like throwing as much as I can. Um, but he said he wanted to be game-like every time he was on the mound. So when he was on the mound in his bullpens, even if it was only a 15, 20 pitch bullpen, every single pitch was full intensity. Um, and then you see that out on the mound, even like in these inner squads, first one of spring training 2.0, and he's mad at himself for missing pitches, mad at himself for not executing. Um, so it's that like competitiveness and intensity that he brings that I hope to do the same. Thanks, Mike. Take Sweeney Murdy next. Sweeney, you can unmute. Hey, Mike. Um, was the, the four scene you're talking about away to the lefties? Is that in place of something? Is it trying to counter something else in your repertoire? Yeah, I, I always feel very comfortable throwing away to righties because um, I can kind of backdoor a two-seamer where I started away. Um, and for the most part, if I execute it, right-handed hitters are just going to give up on it. And it's kind of a free strike for me. Um, when I do that to lefties, I have to throw a two-seamer middle and have it like trust that it's going to break away. Um, and I, I've come into a lot of problems with lefties that, oh, whoa, if I'm trying to steal a strike, they just stay on it and take the freebie with a little single to left field. 
Um, not every hitter does that, but I know like a, a, a Brett Gardner, it, like he would take that every single time out. Where if it's an OO fastball away and he knows that I like doing it, he'll just slap that thing the other way. Um, so for me, I just wanted to get free strikes and or as many as I possibly can. And so I know me across my body, a little bit different slot, lower slot. If I throw that thing and kind of stick it on the outside corner, it almost stays like a freeze fastball where it starts over there. They're expecting it to continue to break away and then it just stays there. Um, I wasn't planning on using it in like a, a 1 2 0 oh, 2 count like Ionetta wanted me to. I threw a, a couple uh, to righties as well, one to Voight, one to Judge, um, that I ended up kind of running too far in, or I just started too far in. Um, but for the most part, I, I want it to be just like a, an 0 oh, 0 oh, fastball that I can get ahead early and um, be confident that it's almost going to be like out of my hand, no one's going to swing at it. And at what point did you feel everything was good health wise for you? spring oh it it's been healthy the whole time uh, I, one, once i was back last year um it was really once i got back to scrant to scranton last year i think that was in august that's when i felt full go thank you we'll take a final question from brendan cuddy brendan go ahead and unmute mike good to see you thank you for taking the time here yeah if you had to dial back and if the yankees needed you in a relief role how would your approach change? Would your repertoire change? How would you attack that? Uh, it totally would change. Um, because as a starter, I, I want to get outs the third time through the, through the lineup. So there are a lot of times where I will not throw um, in spots that, uh, throw pitches in spots that guys normally like. It. Uh, so I, I will set guys up in starts in their first or second at bat to then expose a hole in their swing later on in the game because those outs in the sixth, seventh, eighth, eighth inning are a lot more important than the first, second, and third. We can come back from a 1-0 a deficit if, I, if a guy gets me in the first than we could in the, in the seventh or eighth. So um, I would have to totally go right after those holes immediately. Um, and I'd also have to be studying hitters a lot more in the game um, because you, you can see how hitters get set up for their later at-bats on pitchers uh, earlier in the game. So if I'm watching, even if it's a pitcher that is nothing like me, like a Cole, if Cole's – blowing 99 by everybody with a knockout slider and everything. And I come in there with kind of sink and finesse. Um, it's totally different, but I can still see the holes that he was exposing that then he was kind of um, leading a reliever towards. Um, and I know like the, the best relievers do that. It's not like they're just going, going at them with their best stuff. They know exactly how to get these hitters out. Um, and that's kind of what I would do. Not be easy for you, difficult? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Would that be an easy adjustment for you, difficult? Um, it, it'd be easy because I, I love watching video, so it's now just live video um, that I'm watching. Um, the only difference is I'd have to do it every day instead of every fifth day, um, where I always say that a starting job is easier than a relief roll because I get four days off in between, and relievers have to be ready every single day. Um, so that, that, that'd be the only difference is I'd have to be ready every day and do it every day because you never know when your name's going to get called.